Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks. Doing a little box and pack opening, technically. Uh, we got two of the fat packs or value packs and two hanger boxes of 2024 Topps Heritage Baseball. Uh, this is my first look at these. Uh, at this product in general actually this year um i've seen a little bit of it opened on camera uh watching other you know people on youtube and such um i personally just haven't opened up any in person so we're gonna see if we get lucky with a little something uh usually with heritage i usually do a video for each of the different formats um i figured i'd do usually i'll do a couple more of the value packs a couple more of the hanger boxes but uh I don't know, usually these are not the greatest versions so Figure a little smaller of a sample size. We'll open up two value packs and then two of the hanger boxes. Value packs, uh, I'll be honest with you, I really wasn't paying attention to the prices when I paid for these. Um, I believe these were $6.99 a pack and $11.99 for a hanger box um, to pick these up at Target. I know the hanger boxes though at Walmart, I think are 12, no, 13, I think they're $13.99 uh, at Walmart. So definitely Target is the cheaper route um you know we are working with the 1975 design which i it's i don't want to say it's my favorite design i don't hate it but i also don't love it so we'll see what we get uh if you're not familiar with heritage as well it's a technically a 500 card base set your first 400 cards are your you know base set really and then there's a base set of short prints which you should get like one per I know in like hobby boxes, they're one in three packs. Uh, these value packs, you might get one in every, well, you might get one in every three packs as well. Hanger boxes, I think might be like one in every other box. Um, so it's a little harder to pull off that whole 500 card checklist. So we got Spencer Strider, uh, Candelario, Tuki Trissant, James Altman, the Rookie Cup, Cattell Marte, Jose Tina, Tenya. Uh, we got, let's see, 2016 Most Valuable Players, Bryant and Mike Trout. That's actually kind of cool that they did it for the, the previous years. Reed Detmers, Jeff McNeil, Osvaldo Bebo, Bido. not too sure if I pronounced that right. And that is, that is card... 496, so that might be a short print. Uh, we got, let's see, Stolen Base Leaders, Acuna, Asturi Ruiz, Joey Manessis, Mustakis, Ryder Ryan. We got Alex Call. That one's all white. And, sheesh. Uh, white Border. So that is a white border. That is a uh, parallel of Alex Cole, and they do say right there above the number, I know it's, it's extremely hard to read, uh, it's even extremely hard to read on per in person, um, so eh, it's a parallel, not the you know top name, but uh, eh, it's something, uh, Kyle Lee, Sparky Anderson, Paul Goldschmidt, Uri, Uri Perez, and Lane Ramsey. So, you know, it's one of those, well, actually, 490. So, do they not? Are the short prints more mixed in now? Did I? Look for short printed base cards. Oh, 1 to 100. Are those the short prints this year? Did they change that up where it's 1 to 100? I, if they did, I completely missed that. That's just curiosity here now. Because usually they put them on the back end of the set. That would make a lot more sense. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we got a bunch of cards in the 400s. All right, so yeah, no short prints. Okay. But we do get, like I said, we get the parallels. So, um, interesting. Was not, uh, was not expecting that. So, all right. We got John Gray, Craig Kimball, Jake Berger. Joe Kelly, Javier Baez, Michael Rucker. We got 20, uh, 2012 Most Valuable Players, Miggy and Buster Posey. Makata, Seeger, Dane Dunning, Drew Rahm, Max Meyer, Whit Merrifield, 
JJ Bleday. Got him then and now. Oh, and so I guess JJ Bleday, JJ Bleday is supposed to be a short print then. We got a then and now. Jim Palmer, Framber Valdez. Insert. Zach Remillard. Garrett Cole. Little all star pitcher card, actually, too. Kikuchi. Uh, Jacob Young. And Ruiz. So, all right. Interesting how they did that this year. Like I said, that definitely threw me for a loop. Uh, was not expecting the cards to be on the front end. Usually they're always on the back end in, in all the previous years. So, learn something new. So, all right, let's uh, let's check out the hanger boxes. Um, like I said, I, I feel like the, the value packs are probably not really the go-to. I mean, if you want to, you know, rip one or something, I, I completely understand. I mean, I know there's times where, you know, I go into Target and I'll just grab a value pack to, you know, rip in the car, you know, once in a while. So I'm not completely against opening them. It's just I wouldn't open up tons and tons of them, you know, chasing something. So... Uh, so let's see how the hanger boxes are. Uh, 35 cards. Um, yeah, definitely interesting. It definitely threw me for a loop, though, that they put it on the front end this year. So, but that's all right. So let's see what we get. We got Dane Dunning. Drew Rom, Max Meyer. Whit Merrifield, and if you could tell, there's, you know, some correlation, just like most Topps products. We got 67 Most Valuable Players, Yastrzemski and Cepeda, Freddie Freeman, Brian De La Cruz, Luis Matos, so I think that's probably our best rookie pool, uh, Sturio Ruiz, so far we're three for three with him, Bryson Stott, then we got 59 Most Valuable Players, Nelly Fox and Ernie Banks. Carlos Rodon, uh, Elias Diaz. And then we have our 1980 Most Valuable Players. George Brett, Mike Schmidt. We got Gavin Lux, Owen White, AJ Puck, Smith Scheuer. We got Kyle Tucker, Lamont Wade, O'Neill Cruz, Alex Cole, Carlson, Liam Hendricks, Josh Naylor. Max Reed, Chris Bassett, Duga, Jason Dominguez, that's nice, Jake McCarthy, Justin Steele, Bryce Jarvis, and I'm very happy with that. I got a white border behind that. Junior Caminero, auto. One of the real ones, auto, on card. I'm... Very happy with that. Uh, was not expecting that at all. Um, actually, I thought we probably passed through the you know the hit of the uh, quote unquote of the box because usually because that's closer to the end. Usually in Heritage, it's more in the middle. But Drew Rom, uh, white border, Kyle Finnegan, number forty one. Uh, so therefore, that is a short print, and then New Age Performer Shohei Otani. So the hits. So most of the hits are going to be on the, or literally going to be on the back of uh, the back of the uh, the hanger boxes now too. So they changed that up a little bit because they used to be right smack in the middle. So um, I don't know. I'm not one to use that term. You know, I'm sure the term that everybody knows. Um, I don't know. I uh, hangers have always been good to me. I don't know if I'd necessarily call them bangers, but. If, if something happens here and we go two for two with autographs on here, then I might have to, you know, change that tune a little bit. But uh, very happy about that. Um, I mean, I'm always happy anytime you can get an autograph in general. I mean, even if it's, you know, even if it's a pitcher auto, anytime you open up retail um, and there's no guarantee of autos in the products, I'm happy usually with whoever it is because I know it shouldn't have been there. Or didn't have to be there, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's see. We got 2022 Most Valuable Players. Aaron Judge and Paul Goldschmidt. Luis Rice. Bryce Elder. Uh, Breu for the Red Sox. Cabrian Hayes. Contreras. Hagen Danner. Uh, Kyle Stowers. Cano. 
Jose Furman. Otani on the Dodgers. Uh, we got Hunter Brown, Spencer Horwitz, Drew Waters, Manuel Valdez, Hernandez, Schwarber, J.P. Sears, Lance Lynn, Ian Happ, Ben Joyce, Riley Adams, Soler, Cuba Ruiz, Nick Lofton, Bobby Miller, Robert Garcia, Red Shonice, Matthew Libertor, Dominic Fletcher, Navar uh, Noelle Marte. Fortunately, you know, he got caught doing some stuff he shouldn't have been doing. Salvador Perez, Kyle Bradish. We got a Chrome. All right, that's cool. Brandon Nemo. I'm okay with that, you know, just me being a Met fan. Uh, I guess that's just the base. Oh, I'm sorry. It's on the front. Uh, the 375. I'll take that. We got Jim Palmer. And news flashbacks insert. So, um, you know, I'll be honest with you. Definitely not going to complain. Um, I think it's, is that the baseball flashbacks? I want to say the Jim Palmer. But the Brandon Nimmo, I'll gladly take that. Um, you know, 375, just me being a Met fan. Um, I like Nimmo as a player. I wouldn't say he's my favorite player on the Mets, but I do like him as a player. I'm glad he's on the Mets. Um, you know, a couple other players I'd like to get before that, but that's okay. Um, I'll be honest with you. Very happy. Um, Caminero, uh, auto. Doesn't have much of an auto, but, uh... I'll gladly take it. Definitely take it. So, um, so let me know in the, you know, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about this product this year. Um, do you like, have, have you, have, you know, have you seen it opened? Do you like it? Are you hating it? Um, I know, like I said, uh, top loader feels very tight. Um, do you like the look of the design of this 75 design? Like I said, it's not my favorite. I don't, I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. Um, you know, I always like to know your guys' opinions on it. Uh, do you like how they changed the setup of the, the front hundred cards instead of the back hundred cards of the short prints? Um, or you just don't like the whole short print concept as in general? Um, but I mean, overall, pretty happy about that hanger box. Um, you know, we did get two white borders uh, as a whole, both names, not the greatest, but that's okay. Um, but like I said, the auto definitely makes up for it. So, but anyway, like I said, if you like it, if you like the video, appreciate guys, you leave a like on it, leave any comments on it. I feel a little flast, flustered for some reason while I'm talking to, I've been a little under the weather. Um, so sorry about that. If I seem a little off with this video today, but anyway, um, once again, appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, leave a like on it. If you want to see more videos and pack openings like this, appreciate you guys if you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified of any of my future uploads. And like I said, leave any comments on uh, Heritage. I always like to hear your guys' opinions on these products. Um, and with that, we'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.